Hello, my name is Caroline Dinn, personal trainer, nutrition coach and yoga teacher, helping you to get strong in mind, body and spirit. Today we are going to work through a dancing warrior sun salutation. You need just yourself and the mat and maybe a couple of blocks if you find that makes your practice more comfortable. Props are our friends. So let's begin at the top of the mat. So if you make your way there and bring yourself so that your feet are about hip distance. Soften your knees and then bring your hands through to heart center, Tadasana, mountain pose. Now, if you're comfortable with your balance here, now close into the eyes, otherwise keep them open. And we'll begin with our three grounding breaths. So on your next inhale, take a long breath in through your nose. And then open your mouth and take a long sigh out of the mouth. Twice more, breathe in. And long and slow through the mouth. And breathe in. And release out the mouth. And now closing the mouth, allow the breath to come back in and out through your nose. If your eyes were closed, then blinking them open. As you take your next breath in, sweep your arms up to the sky, Audra Hatasana. Send your palms to face each other, turn your little fingers in. If it's comfortable, you might raise your chin to look up. As you exhale, forward fold. So bringing your hands through heart center, hinge at the hips, soften the knees as you pour your torso forward. As you take your next breath in, lift up halfway. The hands onto the thighs or the shins, press your shoulder blades onto your back body and find length through the spine. As you exhale, soften your knees and fold. Bend your knees enough to plant your hands down onto the earth. And then step back with both legs to the back of the mat and find a high plank. Lift your belly button up to your spine. Take a breath in here. And then as you exhale, gently place your knees onto the earth. Can you keep that strong straight line as you exhale and move all the way onto your belly? Now from here, bring your hands either side of your face. And for the first back bend, baby cobra. So your next breath in, don't use your hands, use just your back muscles to peel a rib or two away from the mat. Then as you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press through tabletop, touch your toes and as you exhale, find a downward facing dog. Step your feet together at the back of the mat once you've found your downward dog. And as you take your next breath in, lift your right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Bend your right knee and stack the hip open. So lift the right knee to the sky and squeeze the right heel down towards your glutes. And you might find that you just collapse into that left shoulder as you've done that. So square off your chest to the mat. Take a breath in. And then as you exhale, Big step forwards with your right foot to in between your hands at the top of the mat. You might like to bring a hand onto the ankle and just encourage that forward. Turn your left heel down to the up so that your front heel is dissecting the arch. So setting up for warrior two. Keep a bend into your front leg. And as you next breathe in, cartwheel your hands up as you open up warrior two. Virabhadrasana two. Now a warrior pose is a strong pose. So take a gaze over that front finger and we have some activation in your hands. So if I was to come and try to move you in a warrior pose, I shouldn't be able to. Strong bend into the right leg so that the knee is stacked over the heel and draw that right hip underneath you. Take another breath in. And then as you exhale, flip the palm of the front hand and then reach that palm up towards the sky as you reverse your warrior. 
reach the left fingertips down the back leg towards the earth. Then as you breathe in, draw your right elbow to your right knee and then draw your left arm up and over, extended side angle. Now that right elbow can stay on the right knee or you might draw your block onto the inside of your right ankle and rest there. If you can reach the ground, maybe you go there. But your main purpose with your extended side ankle angle is to stay open through the chest. So try not to cave forwards like this. Send your left ribs back in space. As you take your next breath in, lift back up, warrior two, gaze forwards. And exhale, cartwheel your hands to frame your front foot as you spin onto the ball of the back foot. Breath in, sweep your right leg back, high plank. Exhale, knees up or down as you take a strong straight line onto your belly. You can repeat baby cobra as before. I'll draw your hands underneath your shoulders so you can see your fingertips. And as you take your next breath in, press through your hands to lift your heart up. Cobra Bhujangasana. Soften your glutes and send your shoulder blades onto your back body. As you exhale, ripple your chest back down to the earth. Inhale through tabletop, tuck your toes and as you exhale, downward facing dog. Step your feet together at the back of the mat. As you take your next breath in, lift your left leg up towards the sky, three-legged dog. And then bend the left knee and stack the left hip on top of the right hip. So lifting the left knee, squeezing the left heel down towards the glute. And remembering to square off through your chest. Take one more breath in here. And then as you exhale, take a big step forward with your left foot in between your hands at the top of the mat. I'm just going to flip around so that we can still see each other. Spin your right heel down to the earth and as you next breathe in, cartwheel your hands all the way up, warrior two. Take the strong gaze forwards and keep the generous bend into your left leg. As you next exhale, flip the palm of the front hands and then lift that palm to the sky as you reverse your warrior. Let your right hand trace that back leg down towards the ground. Notice what the left leg has done. Keep that generous bend, knee stacked over the heel. Inhale, left elbow to the left knee and then right arm sweeps up and over extended side angle. You might play with that block on the inside of your left leg or fingertips reaching for the ground. Spin your chest open, so sending your right ribs back in space. Inhale, rise back up, warrior two. And then as you exhale, cartwheel your hands to frame your front foot at the top of the mat, spinning onto the ball of the back foot. Inhale, left leg sweeps back, warrior two. As you exhale, knees up or down as you vinyasa. Hands underneath your shoulders and take a breath in to rise through the back bend. Exhale, returns you to the earth. Inhale through tabletop, tuck your toes and exhale, downward facing dog. Now spending five breaths here, you may like to bring it down to a child's pose and take the weight off the hands and the shoulders. But wherever you are connecting to that rise and fall of the body. For two more breaths. And then if you were in child's pose, lifting back up through tabletop, Taking your toes and will meet in a downward facing dog. As you take your next breath in, lift up your heels, bend your knees and look to your hands. 
As you exhale, walk, step or hop forwards to a forward fold at the top of the mat. Breath in, rises up halfway and exhale, forward folds. As you inhale, slowly roll up through the spine, letting your head come up last and sweeping your arms up and overhead. And then exhale, drawing your hands back through to heart center. Okay, so taking one more round of that sun salutation, this time one move, one breath. So as you take your next breath in, sweep the arms high, forward Vahasthasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, soften the knees down. Inhale, rise up, halfway. Exhale, soften the knees and fold. Bring your hands down to the earth and step it back, high plank. As you exhale, knees up or down as you draw yourself onto your belly. Inhale, press through the hands to cobra. Exhale, drawing yourself back to the earth. Inhale, press through tabletop. Tuck your toes and exhale, downward facing dog. Step your feet together at the back of the mat. As you take your next breath in, right leg lifts to the sky, three-legged dog, bending the knee and stacking the hip open. As you exhale, big step forward with the right foot to in between the hands at the top of the mat and turn your left heel down. Inhale, cartwheel the hands up, warrior two. Exhale, reverse the warrior. Right fingertips reach to the sky. Inhale, extended side angle. Right elbow to the right knee as your left arm sweeps up and over. Next, inhale, rise back up, warrior two. And exhale, cartwheel your hands to frame your front foot spinning onto the ball of the back foot. Inhale, right leg sweeps back, high plank. Exhale to lower. Breath in, rises through the back bend. And exhale, return to the earth. Inhale through tabletop, tuck your toes. And exhale, downward facing dog. Stepping the feet together at the back of the mat. So you take your next breath in, left leg lifts up to the sky, bending the knee and stacking the hip open. Exhale, big step forward with your left foot to in between your hands at the top of the mat and spinning the back heel down. Inhale, open up, warrior two. As you exhale, reverse your warrior. Left fingertips reach high. Breath in, side angle, left elbow to left knee as the right arm reaches up and over. Squeeze the left hip underneath you. Your next breath in, rise back up, warrior two. As you exhale, cartwheel your hands to frame your front foot at the top of the mat, spinning onto the ball of the back foot. Inhale, left leg sweeps back, high plank. Exhale to lower. Breath in, rises through your back bend. Exhale, ripple back down. Inhale through tabletop and exhale, find your way to downward facing dog or make your way back to a child pose. Five breaths here, rooting, softening, and noticing the energy that's in the body. Whenever we come back to these resting poses, balancing the strength with the softness, the doing with the being. One more breath. And then if you found a child's pose, make your way back to a downward facing dog. 
and we'll meet it in our downward facing dog. As you take your next breath in, lift your heels as high as they'll go, bend your knees and look to your hands. Exhale as you walk, step or hop it forwards, fold, fold at the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lifts and exhale, folds. Breath in to rise up through to stand, sweeping your arms overhead. And exhale, hands move through to heart center. Inhaling arms to the sky. And exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees so that your hands can find the earth. And then cross one foot behind the other. Doesn't matter which way. If you can, then walking your hips all the way back to make your way to a comfortable seat. And I will meet you in the comfortable seat. Either taking your hands onto your lap or onto your legs, or draw, draw both hands onto your heart. And closing the eyes. Taking the final couple of breaths here together as one. So breathing in through the nose, and then letting go out the mouth. And breathing in and letting go. Drawing the hands through to heart center. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. And I'll see you back here really, really soon. Namaste.